Manchester United have been heavily linked with French midfielder Manu Kone. So just what sort of a profile is Kone and why are the likes of Paris Saint-Germain and Chelsea looking to sign the 21-year-old in the summer? Kone is an incredibly well-rounded and talented midfielder. He actually started off his career as an attacking midfielder but to make the most out of his defensive work rate and athleticism he's moved deeper with the license to get forward. The Frenchman currently applies his trade at Borussia Mönchengladbach and have formed a good partnership with Julian Weigl in midfield, with the German often dropping in between the centre-backs when building out, allowing Kone to operate just ahead of the defensive line and utilises exceptional ball carrying abilities to break the lines. Kone is an elite dribbler and has the ability to receive the ball in deeper areas and transition from defence to attack, having the composure to evade the press consistently and progress play. This is a common feature of his game and for me is his greatest strength. He's never afraid to get on the ball and is really comfortable in possession, using intelligent movement to find spaces and receive a pass, constantly being an outlet for his teammates. His stature and physicality helps him shrug off defenders and shield the ball retaining possession for his side, and pair that with his low centre of gravity and confidence on the ball plus his ability to dribble with both feet with a series of feints and movements to romp at the defender, it makes him incredibly hard to dispossess. Although Kone prefers to progress the ball with carries, he's also a decent passer with a good passing range. He's perfectly capable at switching play and playing forward passes to help get his side into better positions. However, his underlying numbers this season aren't the best, but this could be down to the way Munch and Gladbach have been setting up, with the German side having less of a reliance on Kone's passing range and being more of a transitional side, with the Frenchman's ball carrying abilities being heavily relied upon to progress play. For more of a possession based side he'd be given more opportunities to get on the ball in the first and second phases and utilise his passing ability. And this is the type of side Manchester United aim to be. For all of his qualities on the ball, Kone is just as effective with his defending. He's an aggressive and physical presence in midfield and uses his incredible engine to close down plays and win back possession with good timing when tackling the ball. He's fearless and shows loads of energy and tenacity out of possession, a dream for any manager especially from their midfielders. However the Frenchman can tend to be overly aggressive and leave spaces behind but this can definitely be worked on and he's improving game by game. Taking all of this into account, I think Kone is best suited to a number 8 role, with the license to receive the ball on the half turn and dribble through midfield to progress the ball. However, I do believe he has the ability to provide cover as a 6 and sit deep with the right instructions, but that would see his dribbling abilities being wasted and he may lack the patience to constantly pass from deep rather than drive through midfield. Hence why I believe he'd be perfect as an 8 with a defensive midfielder behind him which in Manchester United's case would be Casemiro. And this will see him given the freedom to express himself going forward whilst providing that defensive security for his side. So to summarise, Manu Kone is an exciting and incredibly talented midfielder who possesses a lot of desirable attributes that would benefit every side in Europe. And with a reported price tag upwards of 50 million euros, he'd be an affordable and worthy investment for any club including Manchester United. And with positive development and a strong mentality, I can see him becoming one of the best midfielders in the world for many years to come.